Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest round from Nova Gundam from a long time back. Uh, this is uh, the Banshee from pretty much, I think this might be a day one round. Because, uh, yeah, uh, Nova got the Banshee. I, you know, still don't have the... No, I think I did ultimately get the Banshee. My memory is terrible. But either way, um, yeah, this is, uh, as you can probably tell from the fact that there are overall four people on Nova's team running the Banshee. This is from, you know, probably opening night, if not, if, you know, opening weekend, if not opening night, so. But yeah, Banshee is pretty good. It is a raid with some but not all of uh, the Unicorn Gundam's abilities and quite a few of its own. Uh, has, ah, you know, has its, uh, has a Garrow Beast style beam cannon, you know, sustained damage type thing. Uh, has, uh, it's, has its big claw thing, which I love that uppercut. And, uh, yeah, it, and of course it does have, uh, destroy mode, which, uh, blocks Psych U in a, in a, uh, nearby radius, and also, uh, but it does not have the awakening that the unicorn does, so, uh, once you've started that, the, uh, the bleed never stops, so you have to, uh, be pretty careful. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, not bad. I believe it's been buffed in, or, I know it's been, I think it got the same range, uh, nerf to NTD that, uh, the Unicorn Gundam did, but I want to say they, there have been other modifications since then. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, I'm still a little bit flaky here, like, more so than usual, because, uh, yeah, construction, uh, you know, the, the electrical work I think I talked about before got uh, done today, so... My PC is now on its own dedicated line, which is, you know, great for, you know, in terms of making sure that it's getting the kind of, uh, kind of juice it's supposed to. But, uh, also just, yeah, all that work did kind of, uh, and the fact that, uh, I had to do a lot of cleaning up around my desk so that they could put a, a new, uh, socket under there really did, uh, kind of, uh, mess up with the whole sleep thing. Also just gave me a horrible headache, because, yeah, I do still have that, uh, I do still have that arm and neck problem, it turns out, because it's been good for a long while, but, you know, weekend, or a week of, uh, you know, moving stuff around definitely tweaked itself. But, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a few days of guest videos. I did actually manage to get another request done tonight, so that will be showing up eventually. But, yeah, this is, of course, Banshee in, uh, destroy mode, and unfortunately it got destroyed. Um, yeah, but, uh, you know, like raids, they can be fragile. You know, that's, that's the raid, uh, that's the raid concept. High, uh, high damage in exchange for, you know, high volatility, basically. But, uh, at the same time, uh, at the same time, it's, you know, fun. So, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. Yeah, like I said, I've been getting, like, two hours sleep here, two hours sleep there. I, it's... Oh, the brain... The brain does not brain, but I'll be okay. Um, let's see, good swing there. Good follow-up with the uppercut. Okay, yeah. I've got at least one request involving the Banshee, which is what made me remember I actually own one. And I'm gonna, you know, I'll have to remember some of these combos for, uh, then. Because I've only run it once or twice, to be honest, and one of those was on PC. So, which, you know, nothing particularly wrong or different about PC, at least when I was playing, but, uh, just, uh, different controllers, so, and I guess I'm weird, but just different controllers do change, like, the feel of things for me, and that they, they, you know, they do make playing the game feel different, so, uh, that's, I guess, uh, um, you know, it's just me, maybe. But I will say that I've been enjoying playing games on PC a lot more since I got the 8-bit uh, uh, Doe controller that uh, tries its best to uh, uh, replicate the field Super Nintendo uh, controller. And Nova, I apologize, I'm not trying to talk about anything but the round, I'm just gone. So, um, good hit there. And let's see, seems to have good Vulcans too. You know, good raid fire, pretty good damage. Did enough to stun there, and good time, good time to uppercut. But the uh, somehow the other uh, banshee, 
uh, manage to just go through it. I believe the Banshee does have some kind of special ability that technically gives it uh, priority four. Um, I don't, if that, you know, that shouldn't work, that shouldn't mean anything Banshee to Banshee, but uh, apparently in that, mo in that moment at least it did. So, just like, maybe, maybe with that priority modification thing, whoever uh, swings second wins, I don't know. But there is good damage there with the armed armor gun against uh, Super Gundam, which, yeah, that Super Gundam is very patient for still being in this round, quite frankly, because, yeah, the, just run, running a support like the, the uh, uh, Knight A New Raid is uh, introduced, especially a new very uh, much desired raid is really a thing. Good heavy attack there. Um, I'm not sure how banshee the uh, other team is, but seems like the full armor double Zeta, or Faz, excuse me, since there is a difference since they are both in the game now. Weren't when this happened, but you know. That's at 11,748. Very nice. So yeah, good heavy attack on the banshee. Oh, but yeah. It's, uh, round seems to be going fairly well. It's, uh, you know, like I said, it's a fun suit. I, I need to, uh, get some practice in with it so I can, uh, get some, uh, get that request done. I'm still just so happy I got that Zanny request done finally. Because that, like I said, that just, you know, I've got some other long-standing requests that, uh, I need to work on, but just that one... You know, that one wasn't me procrastinating, that was the game procrastinating, more or less, and I, it's just, that's a relief to have done. So, now, now, I need to work on the ones that I'm procrastinating on, and apologies if you are one of the people waiting for one of those. But, uh, let's see. A minute left, good 5,000 point lead, which at 700 is not, uh, you know, is not the world, but it's still pretty solid. Um... Okay, now it's a, like a 4,000 point lead, but yeah, that, as you can see from how fast that, uh, that changed, that is something that an enemy team can make up in the last 40 seconds if they are really dedicated. So, we'll have to see how this, uh, goes. Let's see, uppercut did not catch, but, uh, let's see, the beam smart gun is ready again. Yeah, this is a good place for the, uh, sustained shot, because... I was hoping multiple people would walk through it, but no such luck, but still. Um, but yeah, Nova is trying to focus... Okay, yeah, I didn't know you could fire that multiple times so close together, but wow, yeah. A lot of good damage on that Super Gundam, which he is leaving to the other three raids on the team so he can go after this uh, person here, which probably a good move. But uh, yeah, they definitely managed to keep their lead and... Uh, bring it back up a little bit, I think, in the last minute, so, yeah, that was a good round. And, yeah, I definitely need to try the Banshee again. But, yeah, it, uh, it's good. And it looks good in Nova's colors, too. Um, 145,000 damage, so, and 1,050 points of assist. And I'm guessing probably slightly lower kill count because of the assists. Four and three, but he was, like, one kill, basically, behind the uh, leader, so that is pretty solid. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! But yeah, the Super Nintendo controller still has one of my favorite D-pads. I'm very picky about those, and just... I, I really do like a good crisp uh, transition between, uh, between directions there, just because I don't like... I don't like... well... You know, in the years when I tried to play uh, Street Fighter on uh, Super Nintendo in its various incarnations, having, you know, imprecise D-pad input would kill you. So that's, that's something I, uh, you know, got, got very picky about over the years in terms of D-pads. I still ought to just get a an actual, like, fighting stick at some point, but just... As far as I... Last time I saw, the ones that are compatible with PS5 kind of very expensive, so... And since it's, I'm not exactly a hardcore fighting game player, I, I've been, you know, I guess if, if there's such a thing as a casual fighting game player who's been playing them for 30 years, that's me. So, you know, it's not exactly been at the forefront of investments I feel like I need to make. 